Hello everyone, this is Master127, and welcome to uh, my first uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Millennium Duels deck profile, and today we're going to be doing my Dark World. Now, I know a certain subscriber won't be too happy that I'm doing a Dark World deck profile, but let's get started. So, first on the list is once the camera focuses in. It's being Vanguard of the Dark World, only have one. Then you have Brow, which is the Huntsman of the Dark World. Come on, camera, you can do this. Let's take it back out a little bit. There. Okay, that's a little better. One, uh, Byron, Mad King of the Dark World. Two, Ceruli, um, the Guru of the Dark World. One, Chaos Hunter. I think it's... Okay, no, it's two gold, Wu Lord of the Dark World. One gores, because it's gores, and you pretty much empty your hand a lot in this thing. Three Greffa, Dragon Lord of the Dark World, Dragon Lords. One Grand Tactician of the Dark World. One Kakia, a uh, Gorilla of the Dark World. I think this is two, yeah, two Lanthium XR of the Dark World. Marshmallow. Mesfist of the Infernal General. Morphing Jar, because this is an old game, this is before Morphing Jar got banned. Rang BX, Overlord of the of the Dark World. I really don't go into this guy too much, but when I can, it's really good. Gregorius Reaver. Three Scar, Scar of the Dark World, so I can um, search him. I think it's... No, oh, okay, I just have two Snow, the Unlight of the Dark World, which is probably one of the best Dark World cards to have. Okay. I think it's just two Trance Archfiends. One Cost Down. Okay, and this is just one DDR, different dimension, reincarnation to bring back all my banished monsters, because you do banish a lot of monsters in this deck. Three Dark World Dealings, because it's it's the, one of the best cards to have to run in this thing. One uh, Dark World Grimoire. You really don't ever go into this all that often, but it, it's just a good like, spell card to have just in case, though. I think that's, yeah, two Dark World Lightning, uh, two Gateway to the Dark Worlds. One into the void. I'm sorry, two into the voids. One lightning vortex to help clear the field because you can't really play Ragaki in this. Monster reincarnation. Two, the cheerful coffin. Cheerful coffin is one of the very few that would allow because it's discard three monsters from your hand. So it's if you have a whole bunch of dark worlds and you can just basically activate all of them. Three, the gates of the dark world. You really need to run the field spell. The field spell comes into such handy. Curse of the forbidden spell because. You can completely disable one of their uh, spells entirely from the game, and that's incredibly useful. Dark Smog, because it, you can banish your Fiend Auction, you can banish there. One Escape from the Dark World to target your Banished. Two Mirror Forced, and the Forces and the forces of Darkness to bring back your Dark World. Now, moving on to the extra deck. You have Divine Dragon Knight Felgrand, if you wanted to overlay your two... Okay, let's get this back in here. To overlay your two Greffas. Okay. Turn on the steady. One Gachi Gachi Giratsu. One uh, Guide Dragon, the Thunder Charger. One number 20 Giga Brilliant. One Utopia. One Sky Pegasus. One Fortune Tune. Okay. One Shimonji Soldier. Two Dijin Busters. One number 88 gimmick puppet of Leo. Again, this is when you manage to pull out all three Greffas and you want to win this thing. Uh, Chaos number Utopia Ray. Photon Fairly Operative. Shining Elf. And Swordbreaker. And so that is the Dark World deck profile. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I'm Game, whatever you guys want me to keep doing. And I will see you guys in the next profile on Yu Gi Oh! Millennium Duels. Later!